You can find free educational resources online if you know where to look. Most of us start with a basic web search when we want to look for information. But if you rely only on the results from a web search, you'll only skim the surface. In a basic web search, some of the best websites are buried underneath a sea of popular, well-known sites. But if you search smartly, you can discover television and media sites, academic materials, and national repositories, all of which offer free materials such as streaming video, course readings and lectures, photographs and historical documents, and much more. Television programs from the Public Broadcasting Service and from many cable channels are available to stream online. Some of these websites may offer DVDs to purchase, but there are often full episodes and videos to stream for free. To find these, simply use the word video and the name of the show, channel, or network you wish to search for. Here's an example of a video from the series Nature that can be streamed from the PBS website. Large colleges and universities such as Yale and MIT offer free educational materials to the public. These educational repositories often use media tools like YouTube or iTunes to deliver videos or recordings of presentations or lectures. To locate materials or videos from educational institutions, use Web Search Engine Advanced Search features. Enter search terms like lecture, video, or presentation as well as a general subject area. Limit your search to only .edu internet domains to find material from only colleges and universities. Here's an example of a series of video lectures on biodiversity from Harvard University. National repositories like the Library of Congress, the National Library of Medicine, and the National Archives provide access to a wealth of material that is open for public use. Again, to locate more examples of these repositories, use a web search engine's advanced search features. For health information, enter search words like treatment, research, diagnosis, or a specific disease, disorder, or medical term. For historical or archival materials, enter search terms like history, photographs, archives, or a specific document or time period. Limit your search to only .gov internet domains to find material from national repositories. Here are some examples from Medline Plus and from the National Archives website. Finally, don't forget about local resources such as Vermont Public Television, the University of Vermont, the Vermont Historical Society, the Vermont Department of Libraries, and your local public library.